Are you looking to start a new prayer journal? Well, let's make it happen. What's up, guys? Matt here. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Since the new year has rolled around, I wanted to make a video on how to make your prayer life more intentional as the year goes on. I wanted to make a video on how to do a prayer journal and how I set my prayer journal or prayer lists up. So let's get started. You know, there's many places in the Bible where we're called to pray. Just for an example is James 5.16 where it says, Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And that's the NIV version. So what exactly do we mean when we talk about journaling? Well, keeping a journal or keeping a diary are very similar. It's, it's a record of you writing down your words and thoughts so that you can give them over to God. You know, the entire Bible is filled with prayers and records and, and writing down lists. Uh, just an example is Paul in Colossians 4.3 where Paul was writing to the Colossians. He was in prison and he was writing for them to pray for him. So it was a prayer request from Paul to the Colossians so that God would open a door for him, not necessarily physically open a door so he could get out of jail, but open a door for him so that he could spread God's message even further and reach more people. So what are some of the reasons why we would journal? Well, one reason is if you guys are like me being pulled in 500 different directions, it's very easy to unintentionally forget something that somebody asked you to pray for. You know, if you're at church, somebody walked up to you and asked you to pray for their brother or sister or whatever it is for an appointment they might have. Uh, it's very easy for us to forget those things uh, in our busy daily lives. So like to write those things down. You know, we have a cell phone now that's very easy for you to text yourself or it has a notes section. Write those things down and when you get back home, you can write them down in your journal so that you can pray for them how often you want to. All right, let me switch the camera angle real quick so I can show you guys how I do my prayer journal. As you see here, we got our daily prayer request set up here. This is my daily journal entry. Uh, obviously, these names are made up. I'm not going to put anybody's personal information on here, but we see here I'm going to ask for the safety for my kids and my wife as I'm gone to work, ask for their protection, uh, protection over them as they go through the day. We've got James Smith here. He's got a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. Going to ask that the outcome be favorable or whatever he may ask that I pray for. Then we have you know, Jill Smith here, she's got a job interview on Friday. We're going to ask that as she prepares for that job interview and as she even goes on that job interview on Friday, I want to specifically pray for probably different things throughout the week. You know, pray throughout the week that she is preparing well for this job interview, but then specifically on Friday before she goes in, I'm going to know the time of her interview. I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer and ask that uh, she is granted wisdom and she's granted knowledge about uh, what the position is about and that she's looked favorably upon uh, by the people that are interviewing her if the Lord wills for her to have this job. Then we look at Tom here. We He's having a flight back from California. Maybe he's coming back from vacation or something. We're going to ask for safe passage for him coming back home. Then we also look at the weekly prayers here. We have it split up through weekly prayers. We're going to ask for the church leaders uh, ask for prayer for the church leaders, maybe the music minister, maybe your pastor. We're also going to pray for the government leaders, the president, the governor, or the city leaders that you have in your area. And we also don't want to forget about those that are in the mission field, especially those that are overseas uh, in some of those countries that are not welcoming of Christianity, but also those that are on the mission field here in the United States because we can't forget about them. Okay, so now when I say I write these prayers down, I don't write down a paragraph long uh, prayer, what I do is I just write a quick little blurb. I write the person's name and a little blurb about what they're asking for and, and maybe even a date if there's an appointment coming up, if it's an appointment. But I always go to God and I just spill my heart out uh, praying over these names that I have on my prayer list. Uh, I'll go to the couch or a quiet place and go to God and just ask Him and request from Him to hear these prayers. So the second question is, how often should I pray for these things? Well, that's going to be up to you guys, and I hate to say that. It's kind of like your recipe that your mom gives you when she tells you just add a dash of this and a dollop of that. You, you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. But I can give you an example of how I do it. I pray for specific prayers uh, every day. Something like, if before I go to work, I'm going to pray for my family, my wife and my kids, pray for their protection throughout the day. Pray for my family's protection throughout the day. Uh, you know, I may pray 
uh, specifically for a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment that a friend of mine has, if, especially if the date is coming up that's tomorrow or the next day. I want to pray specifically leading up to that appointment. And uh, if you're going to do long-term prayers, such as your city leaders, county leaders, government president, uh, especially your pastor or your music minister, and don't forget those that are in ministry, not only overseas, but here locally in the United States. You might want to do those once a week, maybe on a Sunday when you're putting your prayer list together. That's a good time to do those once a week prayers. Something I also do is I take Sunday or the day that I create my prayer list uh, to add or to, in the best case, remove some of those answered prayers so I'm not praying for those the next week. Speaking of answered prayers, something that I always also do is I go to God anytime a prayer is answered uh, and thank Him for answering that prayer. Also, I'll make a little highlight in my journal, uh, highlight that prayer request and put a date by it when it was answered. And I'll also put the answer by the prayer request, no matter what the answer was. If you guys prayer journal, let me know how you do it. And let me know if any of these tips are helping out. All right, like I mentioned, I go to God and I thank Him for those answered prayers. And I obviously don't list that prayer on my next week's prayer list. But I also like to contact, if it's about a person that asked me to pray for them, or I know an event that's coming up that I prayed for, I'll try to contact the person that was in charge of it or the person that asked me for the prayer request, maybe a quick text or a phone call and, and ask them how everything's going. Uh, ask them if they need any follow-up prayer or anything like that. One thing that I also try to do is I try to go back through my old prayer journals. You know, once or twice a year, I try to thumb through those and I look and see what seasons of life I was in when I wrote these prayers. Whether it's good or bad, I can always see God's grace and mercy and His love for me through my prayer journals and through the requests that I've made. Okay, just a few minutes ago, I said that I make a note in my journal of how the prayer was answered or what the answer was. I want you guys to remember three things. Number one, only God can answer prayers. You can't speak things into happening. We request from God and turn it over to Him. Number two, God's timing is not our timing. We often ask for things and God knows if we are ready for them or not, just like a job or a child or a house. Number three, God always answers prayers, but it may not always be the answer we want. You know, I think God has three answers. I think there's a yes, a no, and a not right now. You know, God knows our hearts, and He loves us, and He knows when we're ready for something or when we're not. All we need to do is put our faith, hope, and trust in God, and He will work things out. Because 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, and 18 says, Rejoice always. Pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you through Christ Jesus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it inspired you to start a prayer journal for this year. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you're notified of any new videos that I make. I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. Don't forget, lift those weights and grow that faith.